time. Yeah. Okay, well, let's try and re-establish that connection with the management of Stovecraft, right? Rajendra Gandhi, who is the managing director at Stovecraft, joins us now. Mr. Gandhi, is my voice reaching you now? Yeah, yeah, now he's on. Okay, great. Uh, you know, we just want to start by asking you how the demand trends are looking like. We're heading into the festive season. Um, what are you expecting in terms of both growth as well as customer preferences? First of all, good morning and happy Navratri to all. And uh, yeah, the, discussing on growth, I can say we are amidst the festival season. For us, uh, the festivities start from at the south, starts with Onam. We had a good Onam. And I think uh, overall, uh, all the markets are now uh, working normally, unlike the last two years. So with all this, uh, there is stability in all the channels. And uh, so we are, I can say there is good consumer traction in the market. Yeah. Good cons uh, consumer traction. Uh, uh, Mr. Gandhi, good morning. So, uh, you know, in terms of uh, inflation, is that hurting rural demand? Uh, I can say while there is inflation in the economy, but uh, there is a kind of a stabilization in the cost of uh, various materials that go into the consumer goods, particularly steel, aluminum metals. So, uh, on this front, there is uh, not that, I mean, not a kind of an inflation scenario, it is a stabilization scenario. Mm. Okay. Mr. Gandhi, uh, pressure cookers is uh, what percentage of your uh, sales, sir? Is uh, closer to 25%. Okay. You know, the reason I ask is we had the management of TTK Prestige uh, with us sometime back, I think about three weeks back. They said that, uh, a, you know, a, the entry level segment, uh, which is about 60% of their pressure cooker sales, things are stagnant, uh, you know, the word used by them. And they did say, though, to be fair, that, uh, you know, as we get into the festive season, maybe things will pick up a little bit. What's happening to uh, this segment for you uh, at, the entry, at the entry level? Of course, uh, we are catching to a different, uh, I mean, DG. The consumers for us are uh, the mass segment, uh, more of the mass segment. But uh, there is, of course, a, a upward trend in the uh, type of uh, products that the consumers are choosing. Particularly the kind of metal, I mean, all these years we would see only aluminum pressure cookers at the forefront of the pressure cooker industry. Stainless steel is catching up, which is relatively premium to the aluminum. We are seeing uh, reasonable growth in our entry level segment, but we are seeing high growth uh, in the uh, premium segment, that is the stainless steel kind of segment. Of course, there are various uh, variants that we offer in the stainless steel also. So with all, the, but uh, there is overall in the industry is experiencing high growth in the higher, I mean, premium segment. Okay, so high growth in the premium segment, that's something that uh, the other players have told us about as well. Just coming back to the point you were making about the stabilization of raw material costs, right? Uh, in Q1, though, your raw material costs went up by 30%, but you didn't take a, a commensurate price hike. Your price hike, I think, was about 3 4%. Any more price hikes that you'll have to take or will you make it up by the you know, the fall that we've seen now, just trying to understand when can you get back to double-digit margins, something that you had seen last year. Uh, we, do, we have no reason for any price hike now. We don't uh, see that is warranted, required. The prices are stabilizing at the current price, uh, cost price. We can continue to offer our consumers the products at the price we are already selling. Uh, we have the uh, uh, reasonably aspired margins. We are already there. Of course, as uh, I mean, as you see the trend in input costs coming down, but you still continue to hold inventory. It's not that you are exhausted all your inventory at the price. But uh, we are seeing, uh, uh, we are getting, uh, I can say, as we are guiding ourselves towards that margin, we are very close to that. Okay. Uh, sorry, very close to what? You said no reason for price, hi uh, price hikes, but margins 8.4% currently. So where will you end the year? We, uh, we would want to protect 11% uh, margin. I think uh, we are very close to that. Mm. Uh, Mr. Gandhi, how is the consumer electrical uh, segment uh, done so far in Q2? We are growing. By how much? I mean, what's the rate of change uh, for you in this quarter compared to the previous quarters? Uh, and what's the expectation? Yeah. yeah. For us, uh, the, uh, I mean, overall, it is a smaller business. So the base is smaller and hence the growth rate is higher. It is a... Uh, uh, the growth rate is much higher than the company's growth rate in this segment because the base is smaller. It's a relatively uh, smaller and newer business for us. In terms of e-com contribution to total sales, I mean, uh, how is that channel doing now? I think it was about 35%. 
yeah in the particularly last year there was a higher spurt because of the way uh, the, the way consumers were shopping we are seeing stabilization there also and uh, i think actually we had challenges in the first quarter but it is stabilizing now and uh, the selling season for them has started the various festivals that they celebrate and we are seeing the initial uh, feedback is very good will you be sticking to pressure cookers leds uh, induction cooktops or do you have any plans to launch some new products as well we are in the kitchen and home and so we continuously try to innovate into new products mm. we will continue to offer new products within the segment that we are of course we are also in the lighting business as you all know that we have acquired skava which is an extension of our led lighting business mm. it is in the electric uh, lighting and uh, so the, the the operations have started the team is now getting into stability stabilizing there and we have started uh, many, uh, making those products also mm. so the lighting will continue but the uh, the larger segment or the main uh, focus i mean the main business is for us the consumer and i mean for the consumer is the kitchen and home and within this space we continue to innovate and offer. we'll definitely bring more, more and more new products to the